Hi guys, welcome back to Wildebeard Reviews. Tonight we're going to talk about Catwoman issue 29, written by Ram V with art by Fernando Blanco. Now this was a pretty solid issue. There's a lot of stuff in this issue that I really enjoyed. We get to uh, in we get introduced to a new character that is this character right here on the cover. Pretty cool power set. I really enjoyed getting to know that character, although I do have a minor complaint about her that we'll get into as we go through the comic. Also, in this one we have the Riddler and uh, it's not his best day. Uh, he seems to be a bit of a tweaker these days. We'll get into that uh, in this one as well. So uh, at, aside from it being a pretty solid story, I do feel like it's gotten away a little bit from the stories that we saw uh, before Future State. It's a little less her tr uh, Catwoman trying to take over Alleytown and a little bit more uh, some other stuff uh, going on. So I'm sure it will uh, all intertwine and uh, tie up nicely once we get uh, farther into this storyline. It's just something that I noticed uh, going through the book. So that being said, let's go ahead here and jump into the pages. Guys, uh, before we do that, if you are not subscribed to the channel and you enjoy what we do here, do me a huge favor. Hit the subscribe button, uh, hit the like button, the notification bell, all that fun YouTube stuff that we have to ask you guys to do uh, because that's how the YouTube algorithm works. Apparently. Maybe. Who knows how the algorithm works. It just works or it doesn't. I don't know. Let's talk about some comics here on the internet. All right. So we open it up here in a Huygens house. He is one of the bad guys uh, that Selena is fighting in. He's on the phone with someone talking about the goings on. I don't think that in it in and of itself is too terribly important. The important stuff is on the next page. So he goes down uh, to make it downstairs to make himself a nice cup of Earl Grey tea. Uh, and then as he rounds the corner into, I'm guessing, his living room uh, something shocks him and he drops his cup and he sees a living room full of dead bodies that have been absolutely gutted by our new character that we see right there and then she takes a running jump at him knives in hand ready to absolutely murder him which she does right there and I gotta say I absolutely love the Fernando Blanco art on this one one this page in and of itself is just absolutely amazing I love the title uh, card there or the title uh, of the book there bad habits in the blood absolutely love that I love the angle of what's going on here I love just kind of seeing down the the longness of that room with just littered with dead bodies and blood spatter everywhere also uh, Jordi Belair that the colors on this absolutely amazing and then th these pages over here I love uh, the formatting with the the big panel right in the middle with all of the major action in it and that the new character jumping uh, at our, our bad guy right here with the knives and the blood coming off it and then just the the simple almost like film cell style uh, frames at the top and the bottom uh, just showing the the incoming and then or like the beginning of the attack and then the finality uh, of the attack with the attack with the phone down there and everything just absolutely amazing creative team on this book is just straight knocking it out of the park right now all right so we leave that and we go here to uh, Alleytown where Detective Hadley is going to see Selena Kyle. Uh, I love that uh, they have the, the the kids there, the strays, I think they're called, have their own little uh, communication system. He's like, you know, the beat is on the block, meaning the cops are here. Uh, and then he go, uh, Hadley goes up to the door, and I love the doorman kind of gives him some crap, and he's like, oh, fine, I'm just fooling you. Go on up uh, to the penthouse top floor. Don't make any wrong turns, though. <laughs> Don't make any wrong turns in the building. And then we see Hadley going to see Catwoman as she is lounging by the pool. And in the interest of keeping my uh, thoughts on the, the design of Catwoman on this page family-friendly, I will just say that Bruce Wayne is a stupid, stupid man for kind of putting uh, him and Selina on a break because, damn... Anyway, moving on, so Hadley comes there, uh, and Selena says, Detective Hadley, uh, I have to say, I seem to be having trouble shaking you off my tail. You coming all the way out here to Alleytown, things must be de desperate. Uh, to which he replies, I make it a habit to check in on my friends to see how they're doing. You seem to be doing quite well and she says as she's getting out of the pool uh you wouldn't want to keep a poor little cat from having a little fun would you besides haven't you heard there's some mysterious money just showing up in people's accounts these days and that's talking about everything that happened with joker warren so 
In a previous issue, she left a whole storage unit full of drugs uh, for him to find along uh, with this note, and he came there uh, to talk about it, and she basically uh, shuts him down, says, let's get something straight. You helped me when I was shot. I helped save your career. That's it. I don't owe you shit. Uh, I'm not your CI. I'm not your contact. I'm not your next project. I'm not your friend, and you don't want me as an enemy, so I'll say this once. We're even. If you, if I have use for you, I'll send you a note, but swing by an, uh, again unannounced. Uh, you'll see why cops don't like coming into Alley Town so much, and he you know, just kind of takes it, leaves a file, and says, if you know anything useful, you know what to do. A word of advice, though. Uh, the, the, this path you're on, things can get pretty rough without friends. Remember that the next time you're bleeding out on a street somewhere. So, uh, I, I like this Detective Hadley, you know, not taking any guff there, uh, or any hissing. I don't know, whatever you want to call it, from, uh, from Selena. And she looks at the folder and then notices this kind of angel wing uh, image there. She's like, ah, I've seen that before. And then I love it here in a minute. Uh, she, you know, can't help herself, but she actually, uh, gets involved. Um, so here we go see our drug manufacturers that I think were teased at the end of the previous issue, which was way back in December. Uh, at this point, hopefully I'm remembering that correctly. And they are talking about these drugs that they are manufacturing from the body, or I don't know if it's a cadaver or uh, she's in stasis, but poison ivy right there uh, i don't remember where we've left off with the character of of poison ivy the last time i really remember seeing her was in heroes in crisis where wally west kind of resurrected her i don't know i haven't revisited heroes in crisis because it's well, it's Heroes in Crisis, so I didn't really want to revisit it. Uh, but I know there was, I think, some um, anthology issue that came out uh, showed us, like, some ivy growing along a wall and showed us her uh, that ivy was kind of captured right here. So I don't know if she's dead or just kind of in stasis, what's going on. Uh, but they have been harvesting, using her body to harvest and manufacture drugs. And now that they have the formula down right within, like, 96%, um, you know, down, they're going to go ahead and kill or dispose of uh, Poison Ivy right there. So I I'm sure Harley Quinn is going to have something, uh, something to say about that. And then they're talking, uh, whoever this guy is, the, the, you know, the henchman there, the, the scientist doing the, the bad guy scientist things, talking to his boss, they're talking about their asset, which is this killer that we saw earlier, um, in the book, and they sent her out on another assignment, and her assignment is to, uh, take down Mr. Enigma, the Riddler, which is going to get really fun, um, here in a minute. So this is the page I was talking about where Catwoman just can't help herself. I love uh, the narration here. She says, I hate it when this happens. I promise myself I won't get involved. Then something out of the corner of my eye catches my attention. A scrawling in a crop fi uh, cop file, a symbol, a word, a name, something. And I just can't let it go. It wasn't always like this. Maybe I got it from him. Of course, meaning Batman. One of these days, Selena, you're going to get, if you do get yourself killed, let it be known. Curiosity definitely killed the cat. Now, a while back on the channel, I did some reviews of the old uh, Jim Ballant, I think it was Joe Duffy and Chuck Dixon, uh, 90s Catwoman series. Maybe it started in 89, but it was definitely uh, early 90s. And the, those first few videos I did, one of the things I always loved about the character of Catwoman was whenever she was doing something nefarious, trying to um, you know, do a heist or, or something like that, she always ended up getting sidetracked by helping people. And I love seeing that character trait uh, followed through here. She's you know out there trying to do something nefarious by taking over all of the crime in Alleytown, but something catches her eye and she can't let it go. It's that little bit of of good. It's that hero amongst the anti-hero uh, that she is, and she just can't let it go, and it's a character trait that I that I absolutely loved. Uh, that I love. So she continues on here and says, back when we were uh, casing the graves, Willock and Kane building, uh, I was also uh, casing Cobblepot and Enigma. That was back in Joker War. Uh, you can't trust your fellow cutthroats, and it pays to know 
know where they live. Uh, I knew the Riddler was using on the job, but also uh, some kind of high that also gave him an edge and left him ruined the rest of the time. I could have sworn I saw it here somewhere, so she goes to uh, the Riddler's place and finds some drugs with that particular logo on it, hears something in the next room, and sees the Riddler in his underwear, socks, and slippers, and his rope about to get murdered by our, our new character there. So Catwoman jumps in to try and save the day, uh, throws her whip around the, the this uh, bad guy's hand, but then she phases right through it, and Selina says, well, that's that's unexpected, and uh, they trade a couple blows there, and then they kind of stop to size each other up, and what happens next is a pretty awesome fight with our new bad guy kind of phasing in and out, which is really, really cool, uh, and she actually kind of, you know, gets one up on Selina, puts uh, a, a knife cut on both sides of her face, kind of a, you want to know how I got these scars kind of thing there, so really, really cool. Uh, my one complaint about the new character is she feels a little bit derivative of the character Ghost or Ava from Ant-Man and the Wasp, just the, the character design itself from the kind of a form-fitting uh, suit that is vaguely future tech-ish with the, the hood and then uh, the, the full mask there, plus the, the phasing in and out. It is really, really close to, to that character, which... I mean, it kind of is what it is, and we're just now finding out, or just now getting to know this new character, so hopefully they, uh, later on there's something there to kind of help differentiate the two characters, but for right now I can't help but notice uh, the the really big similarities between those two characters. I, I like the character, um, and I don't, I don't dislike either one of the characters, I just can't help but noticing how similar they are. So, Selena, knowing that she is beat, um, uh, uh, tells uh, Enigma to, like, you know, dump a bookshelf on him, and then takes him and jumps out the window with him. Uh, again, really, really cool artwork here, and then they jump down. And then uh, keep running there, and then she throws uh, some uh, grenades behind them. But there is someone with uh, a, a rifle scope up there. It is our other... Um, assassin that has been running around the guy that likes to quote the bible all the time father valley i think or or something uh to that effect and that's what he is saying he quoting the bible again right there's something from deuteronomy 32 39 uh, and he says here what curious things the cat drags home uh, perhaps you and i shall meet in blood and fury but not today and then as uh, selena and uh the Riddler drag themselves out of the, the harbor there, we realize that the Riddler has been shot, and that's where we end, uh, end this one. And actually, before then, uh, Riddler says, um, Ivy, they're using uh, poison ivy to, to make the drugs, and that's when we find out he's been shot. So, all in all, a pretty solid issue. I'm glad we're back to getting regular Catwoman uh, now that uh, Future State is over and done with. And we got Ram V, Fernando Blanco black, uh, back, Jordi Belair on the covers, just a pretty solid, solid book for Catwoman. Very curious to see where we go with this and uh, to learn more about this new character. So guys, what did you think about this issue? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments down below. Like I said earlier, if you like what we do here at the channel and you're not subscribed, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, we'll see you at the comic shop.